all right so i'm just gonna get into it i shopped a few times in store as well as online some of the stuff that's online is not going to be here until like next week so you guys are just going to have to stick around and see how those products perform my name is raquel annette as you can see by the title of today's video we are just going to get into a little bit of a sephora sale haul it has been a while since i've even gotten something from sephora y'all but i want to show you what i got so go ahead and make sure you subscribe to this channel stay around a while i do a lot of makeup lifestyle all that stuff and if that's your jam you're gonna to want to stay around let's go ahead and get into it i went ahead and picked up another one of the makeup by mario this is the jeff lip pencil it's one of the best brown lip pencils that I know it is um, a drier lip pencil. It's not like a super waxy one that's going to melt and move around everywhere. Very high quality, very luxe, and yeah, you know Makeup by Mario usually delivers with their products. I went ahead and stocked up on my favorite, favorite lipstick of all time. It's the Charlotte Tilbury KKW. It is the soft lip, so it's not a matte lipstick. It's the soft lip, so it's like kind of a creamy satin lipstick very 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 high quality i've been using this one i would say since like 2017. <laughs> not only is it a beautiful nudish pink color but it literally has the cutest packaging and it lasts forever this is my favorite lipstick ever i went ahead and picked up the candy glaze double care balm and this is in the shade two everyone's been talking about this it's a lip plumper i haven't tried ysl's lip plumpers but i have tried the dior lip plumpers and i really like them i love the packaging on this i know a lot of people are coming out with like gloss sticks but you really cannot beat a cute ysl one right that is so cute packaging on 10 so yeah i'm really excited to try this one out and so is the next bag so everyone had been hyping up these Makeup by Mario lip, like lip gloss sticks. Um, it said, I created this innovative glossy balm to nourish and plump lips in a range of stunning colors. These usually are like 20 something dollars by themselves, but he gave you two for the price of one in the shade Bear Glow and Rose Glow. And I think that that's a really good deal. Super cute, but like the regular size ones are just a little bit bigger than this. So I just, I was like, that is such a good deal. Super cute packaging, why not? Then this critically acclaimed setting mist by Charlotte Tilbury. Everybody talks about this. I have never used this. I've been married to the Benefit Professional Lock like setting spray, but everyone says that they love this one. So it was a really good deal and I got it. It says party all night, stay all day, locks in your makeup. Like it looks like it just applies. So we're going to put Charlotte Tilbury to the test. Y'all been talking and raving about her for a long time now. So another thing that I wanted to pick up was this Danessa Myricks. It's their Yummy Skin. I never got to review this. I wanted to get one that was in my shade and they didn't carry it in store. And I just never got around to ordering it from Sephora. So they had the Universal Shade. And this is a blurring balm powder for your face and eyes. I do have, you know, larger pores on my face that I'm working on. Um, you know, I did have acne prone skin in the past. So anything that's going to blur my pores and give me a filter-esque look, I'm here for it. So we are going to try her out and the packaging is so cute. Look at it, it's like bronze and it has a little applicator that you can use, just pops right out. So cute. Next, I picked up a luxury concealer because I need a luxury concealer. I don't, I'm running low on all my concealers, I'm, I'm being honest. Like a lot of my PR packages had been getting shipped back because my post man was not accepting mail with my last name for some reason. I just finally confronted him. So hopefully all my packages will be forwarded and I can get some more PR, but that's really what has been going on. He's literally been sending everything back, tying up my content creation and just cramping my pimpy, you know? So this is the Giorgio Armani Multi-Purpose Glow Concealer and I just have never tried anything like this before. And I just heard really good things about it. It's the Luminous Silk one. Shade 8, I thought that it would be too light. If you can see, like, it looks like it'd be light, but it actually is my shade. So I'm excited to try that out, see what it's hitting for. Um, another luxury item that everyone has been talking about is the Jean Boucher. It's the Matte Finish Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder 4-in-1 Harmony. I got the shade uh, Medium to Deep. 
and we're gonna see what this is hitting for. My favorite setting powders, I have actually almost every single one of the setting powders in Sephora, not gonna lie. So I wanted to see what this would give. It says it's supposed to give off a radiance and harmony and has four different shades. So I thought it was really cool and maybe it'll give me a different finish. We'll see what it's hitting for. I'm much married to one primer. It's the one size to cure the blur. I don't particularly like the other one. This one is blurring and that's what I go for when I'm priming my skin. So I went ahead and stocked up on another one of the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation because the shade that I've been using is just a little bit too deep for me. The shade that I had been using is just a little bit too deep for me right now. I'm in Minnesota. I'm super, I've lost all of whatever tan or color that I had. So I had to go a shade lighter and get my, <laughs> than my usual shade. So this is so good. Waterproof, sweat proof, non-comedic. It is reformulated. So it's like a healthier formula and it has the greatest shade range undertones and like skin tones if you've never tried this you should definitely try it out and i got this fashion fair this is a lip liner this is just kind of dear and true to me because my grandma my mom used to wear fashion fair is a black owned makeup brand and just seeing it is for i'm like i gotta snatch it up we need more people talking about fashion fair so they have this really their lip pencils are really good i must say i was gonna get the brown one but i had already got the makeup by mario one so i didn't get that one but i got this one and it's like a plum and it's just it's called vivid violet we're gonna have a nice little lip combo with her and then this beautiful shade of red it's called garnet it's so pretty y'all i can't wait to use it it's so pretty i have to show you i haven't seen the shade in any other brand it's just perfect for brown skin it's the perfect brown it's a perfect brown skin red lipstick and last but not but not least okay because i've been talking a lot of stuff about this foundation y'all because when this was launched there's a lot of other black owned makeup brands with their launches and no one was talking about them and it kind of perturbed me because it's just like okay you guys I, I understand makeup by mario is a great um makeup house but you should be focusing on <laughs> black releases as well and i j it just didn't sit right with my spirit so i never reviewed it when everybody else was just to kind of make a point um so i am finally finally testing out the makeup by mario foundation i originally ordered the shade 24 in online it just looked like that would be the shade so then i got into the store and i swatched it in my hand and that was literally four shades too dark for me so i switched up to 20 in my my undertones are neutral so yeah um what i did notice it does have a like a lot of reflex in it but people were saying like that wasn't an issue but i'm gonna go ahead and test it out and test all these products out actually and let y'all know my honest review wear test all that jazz um packaging beautiful i thought that it was a beautiful consistency i thought that it was going to be a lighter foundation but it's actually a little bit on the thicker side so i'm really actually excited to finally try this baby out so yeah y'all that is my sephora haul i did pick up the danessa myricks her new eyes lips and face palette but that's not going to be coming for a week and then also i was going to go ahead and pick up the huda beauty grunge palette because my pr packages are still being sent to my ex's house in vegas so i was like i, I gotta try it y'all know i'm a huda beauty stan but i'm just gonna see if i can possibly get that pr package and a couple other ones that he has i know that he has and also i did want to try out the makeup my mario palettes but i just was not sold because it kind of mimics the grunge palette but the huda beauty grunge palette has a black in it which would work better for me than just a deep brown that could be way more versatile than just a deeper brown you know what i'm saying so yeah, just a few other things and then i got the burberry goddess perfume it is so so pretty it is so 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 pretty i wanted the big size and they didn't have it in the store so i got those two items that will be coming in next week but it was a really good sale some things that i've been eyeing that i wanted to try out y'all know that i like my luxury makeup and i just it just felt good to get some things to try out so if you're interested in seeing how these products perform you should definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be having a wear test very soon. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. Let me know what you picked up. Let me know what was great and what disappointed you in the comments. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.